Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to be explaining methods in Java. So, methods execute code whenever we call them inside of our program. Okay, and we have a main method inside of our program. Inside of the main class, we have a main method. Okay, the method is the in the class. It is the main method and it's of the return type void return type يعني نوع المعلومات اللي ترجعها المثل بعدين ما نتكلم عن هذه so void doesn't return anything okay and to create a method you want to create it outside of another method okay يعني عشان نسوي المثل لازم نسويها خارج نطاق المثل الأساسية نطاق المثل الأساسية هو هذا Okay, so this field is for the main method. So we want to create our method outside of the main method. And then we can call it from inside the main method. Okay, so let's create a void method that doesn't return anything. Void. Okay, so we need the void keyword. And then we want to name the method. So we will make a method that will say hello. Okay, on the screen. So we'll we'll uh, we'll call it hi, and then we want to add two brackets. Okay, and then we want to add two curly braces. So this is like the main method, as you can see here. It has the same structure as the main method. Okay, and then we can call this method. We we can give this method some code. Okay, so we we will type on the screen from this method that we will let it will will let it say hello or hi okay so we'll let it say say hi so how to call a method from the main method is by just uh typing the name of the method and two brackets and then you can close the statement so this will shift the program and it will let this method run and then it will return here okay so whenever we call whenever we go inside of the main method we will add other code so we will say we will let the method say hi so we will say say hi and the method will say hi okay so here there is a problem here as you can see i cannot call this method and the error is non-static method hi cannot be referenced from a static context يعني الحين عندنا هذه method static static um, void main طيب main method معنا static أي method فيها static ما يصير نسوي call على method الثانية without static so we if we wanted to call this method we need to add static to it so we can call it from the main method as you can see here it gives me it, it the error has has uh, has disappeared okay so now i can execute the code okay so the program starts from the main method it will uh print on the screen say hi and then it will jump it will see this call method call and then we will jump to this method we will ex, uh, execute this code and then we will return here down here okay so it returns down here okay so for a method we can give it some information يمكن نقدر احنا نعطي المثد معلومات ونقدر نستخدم هذه المعلومات داخل المثد مالنا طيب so to give a method information you need to give it parameters okay so here you can specify which type of information this method will take. هنا في هذه الخانة نحدد نوع المعلومات اللي داخل هنا هذا المثل. Okay. So I will give this method my name and it will it will say hi to me. Okay. So we will specify the type of variable by typing the type of variable string. We will call it name and that is information okay هذه معلومة نقدر نعطيها المثل okay so البارامتر يكون هنا في المثل 
بعدين نقدر نعطيها ارجيومنت ارجيومنت يعني معلومه يعني نعطيها معلومه مثلا الحين هي طالبه الحين معلومه الاسم طيب I'll give it my name so we will create a string variable my name and we'll give it okay my name so now we will give this method my name okay so name is my name which my name is here okay so this will this will give information to the method here and we can use this information inside inside of our method okay so plus hi my name or name okay so it will say hi to me and as you can see the method says so we start the program as always from the main method we will execute this code so we'll say hi and then we will assign the this string to our my name variable and then we give the method information this information and then the method will execute the code and then the code will return here down here as you can see uh let's say return if i execute the code you see it returns back it returns back here it doesn't end here it will return back over here okay so this is how the method works so and also you can give it multiple types of um multiple parameters you can give a method multiple parameters so if you wanted to give multiple parameters to a method you can use the comma and then you specify which uh, type of parameter you want i will call int age age okay so now as you can see here it gives me an error so expected two arguments but found one طيب يعني نحتاج الحين هنا two arguments حل two parameters هذا parameter واحد parameter واحد هذه argument واحدة طيب نحتاج uh, argument ثانية واللي هي العمر طيب and then we can give the age directly okay so we can we can either create a variable inside of here int age or my age okay equals 100 something and then we give it here my age or we can just give it immediately like this without without having to create a variable so we can also delete this variable and then we can just give it the name immediately okay so we don't we don't need to create a variable so and then here we will say plus you you are um, and then age we will use the age information inside of our method and then we'll say years old old okay so now we execute the code again so as you can see we start from here we'll delete this so we start from the main method we execute this code we say hi and then we call the method we give it the parameter one parameter two it will go inside of this it will say hi my name and then the age and then we'll continue the statement and then it will return back here here as you can see and <clears throat> we can also um, make the method give us back information okay so we give the method information and we can get back information from the method okay so this is the return type return type you know يعني نوع المعلومات اللي ترجعها المثل حالنا 
احنا نعطي المثل معلومه ونقدر نستلم معلومات اخرى يعني من من المثل بعد ما تسوي العمليات او الكود اللي هنا داخل okay so we'll give another example <coughs> so we'll make a method this method multiply two numbers okay so first we will change the return type to void يعني void يعني فاضي يعني ما ترجع شيء لكن الحين احنا نريد نرجع لنا رقم مثلا احنا نريد نسوي نريد multiply نسوي multiply رقمين مع بعض ونرجع الناتج so we will change this uh, return type to integer integer يعني رقم okay and then we will give it two parameters okay we will give it uh, two parameters which are int x و int y y okay integer x and integer y so we will give it two inf two pieces of information two numbers and then it will multiply them and then we'll return the the information for us okay so first we create a variable so we can store the multiplication so let's change the name of it multiply okay multiply so we will multiply x by y x multiply y okay and then we'll store the information in z okay so we will need one keyword we will need the return keyword this will return the information from here from this method so we will return the variable z so we will multiply x multiply by y and then we'll store that inside of z and then we'll return that back to the met the main method so we'll tell it to um we'll call the method we'll call the method first and we'll give it the parameters multiply okay we'll give it the arguments which are x x will be let's say three and we'll multiply that by five so that's 15 okay and we can use this information in multiple ways so let's create a variable integer uh, let's call it z and it will equal the return it will equal the return amount from here so we will assign we will assign the whatever returned from here to the z variable and then we will um, display it on the screen so we'll, re we'll print z on the screen and as you can see it gives us the value of 615 okay so we will start from here okay so we'll start from the main method we will create the first variable we'll call it z and then we will call the method the method multiply will give it two pieces of information three and five this will um, go inside of the method it will create a new variable it will multiply the two numbers together three which is x five which is y and then it will return the variable or the the uh, yeah the variable z well, whatever inside of the variable z and we will store it inside of the z and then we will display it on the screen we can also do this immediately by just calling the method let's say three and five and this will display on the screen immediately we don't need to create another variable you see that it will give us the same answer okay so as you have seen i have created two variables of the same name z okay int z here and int z here let's see if i try to create a variable which is named z as you can see it gives me an error variable z is already defined in the in the scope هنا يعني 
اذا اذا سوينا كو يعني اثنين نفس نفس فاريبل اثنين تو فاريبلز نفس الشيء نفس الاسم ما يصير نسميهن كذا ليش؟ لانهن داخل نفس المثل او نفس السكوب يعني طيب لكن هنا في المثل الثانيه نقدر نسوي فاريبل ثاني طيب يعني نفس الاسم بس عادي لانهن يعني هذه مثل وحدها هذه بلوك اوف كود وحدها وهذه بلوك اوف كود وحدها يعني عادي ما يتاثر من بعض طيب لكن اذا اذا خلينا نفس الاسم الكمبيوتر احنا ما يعرف الفرق بين هذه وهذه طيب ف وي هاف تو بي كيرفول وين وي يوز فاريبلز اند وي نيد تو نو ذا سكوب سكوب يعني النطاق اللي يكون فيه الفاريبل افكتف طيب يعني هذا النطاق ما يصير نسوي فيه two variables نفس الاسم but here and here we can name two variables with the same name okay and that is it for methods in java